Hi, I'm Emily Jaminette. And I'm Michelle Fianley. And we are so excited that you have decided to do the Friendship Project with your face sharing group and step up and be a facilitator. We want to start this facilitator video just by saying to you that there's no right or wrong way to do this study. We've gonna, we are going to give you some tips on how to run your group, but you can do things any way you want. Michelle and I have been in part of the same face sharing group for over 10 years. So we've done a lot of different studies over the years. And one thing that we have emphasized is that we want this study to be about the women in the group, where they are in encountering Jesus Christ. So let's move forward and talk about some of the things that you can do to have that great face sharing experience. So first we want to talk about what you're going to need to do the study. So the first thing is the book. Now you can get your book from anywhere, Amazon, Barnes and Noble. You can even get it at your local Catholic bookstore. Another great option for your group, if you're doing 10 or more people, you could order directly through Ave Maria Press for a great group rate and save on not only the book, but also on shipping. Another thing we've really put a lot of time and energy into is developing a website that's there for you. At thefriendshipprojectbook.com, we have free downloads that are very easy to use in your group, such as deepening and developing friendships. It's an easy way to print those off and give those to everyone in the beginning of the session so they have some concrete ways of growing in faith-filled friendships. Another thing we have to offer you are free videos based on each of the chapters of the book. So you'll be able to stream these or download them and play them at each of your meetings. So these are available totally free to you. Now, if you don't have internet access or you can't download them to a computer, you can also purchase the DVDs on our website, thefriendshipprojectbook.com. Another thing we want to encourage you to do is choose a location that works best for your group. Sometimes we've had groups at local restaurants or coffee shops as a way to reduce stress on our family life. Other times we've met in people's homes. We've met in parish halls and gathered in places that are conducive to the group. So choose a location that works best for your group. You also want to download our free journal that's available on our website. So that's a nice option that while you're in meeting with your small group, you can take the time to write down some of the answers. We're also going to have in each section in the study guide, a section called going deeper into scripture. This is where you'll take a scripture verse and read through it slowly three times, asking the members of your group to write what's coming to their hearts. So it's another reason to have these printouts so they can actually write down what they're thinking and feeling. So remember, there's no right or wrong way of running these groups. We can be reached at any social media platform and we really are here to help you. But at our website, we have plenty of suggestions and great resources to help you have the best faith filled experience that you can have with your small group. So again, reach out to us at thefriendshipprojectbook.com if you have any questions, and we pray for the success of your group and that you meet many fabulous faith-filled friends.